Hi. Welcome to you all. As part of National Board of Accreditation, we are discussing Tier 1 institutions, the revised SAR document. In our earlier video, we discussed criterion 1. Now we will see criterion 2, outcome based teaching learning. This is the overview of all the nine criteria in Tier 1 engineering institutions as per the revised manual which will be commenced from 1st August 2024. So in our earlier video, we discussed about criterion 1 that is outcome based curriculum which carries 120 weightage. Now we will see the criterion 2 that is outcome based teaching learning the weightage is 120. So this criterion 2 uh, is divided into the following 8 sub criteria. The first one 2.1 describe process followed to ensure quality of teaching and learning 20 is the way it is. Then 2.2 quality of student capstone project weight is 25. Then 2.3 internship or industrial training weight is 10. Then 2.4 seminar and mini or micro projects weightage is 10 2.5 case studies and real life examples weightage is 10 2.6 swayam nptl moocs self learning so combination of all these any of these weightage is 10 then 2.7 solving complex engineering problems incorporating sustainability goals weightage is 20 then the last one, 2.8, steps taken for enhancing industry institute partnerships, weightage is 15. Then the total criterion to weightage is 120. Now let us see all these uh, sub criterions in detail as per SAR document, self-assessment report. Okay, at 2.1, so describe process followed to ensure quality of teaching and learning weightage is 20 year the process may include adherence to academic calendar and instruction methods using pedagogical initiatives such as real world examples collaborative learning quality of laboratory experience with regard to conducting experiments recording observations analysis of data etc and also encouraging fast learners assisting slow runners etc the implementation details and impact analysis needs to be documented with respect to all these factors then the next sub criterion is 2.2 quality of student capstone project 25 is the weight is so here the quality of the capstone or major project is measured in terms of consideration to factors which includes but not limited to environment of the project, sustainability of the project, safety of the project, ethics of the project, cost of the project, the type of the project, type of the project with respect to either it is application oriented or product based or research based or review based etc. and standards of the project. Process related to project identification, allotment, continuous monitoring, Evaluation, including demonstration of working prototypes and enhancing the relevance of project. Also mention implementation details, including details of POs and PSOs addressed through projects with justification. So uh, total weightage for this is 25. Then 2.3, internship and industrial training, which carries 10 weightage. Here you have to describe process, duration, POs and PSOs addressed related to uh, internship and industrial training. Then 2.4, seminar and mini or micro projects, uh, weightage is 10. Here you have to describe process uh, which addresses POs and PSOs also, seminar and mini or micro project related. Then 2.5, case studies and real life examples which carries 10 weightage here you have to provide the case studies and real life examples with respect to type 
and complexity and also POs and PSOs are addressed. Then uh, 2.6, Swayam or NPTEL or MOOC or self-learning. So total 10 uh, weight is here with respect to Swayam or NPTEL or uh, other MOOCs or self-learning, number of students registered and uh, uh, number of students certified. Then uh, POs and PSOs are addressed. That is 2.6. So, uh, these are all 2.1 to 2.6. Now, uh, two more, 2.7 and 2.8. Let us see. Then 2.7, solving complex engineering problems, incorporating sustainability goals, which carries 20 weightage. Here, you have to provide details of four courses with respect to project-based learning, problem-based learning. The next, many projects and uh, integrated design projects, capstone projects, hackathon or any other activity based learning towards solving complex engineering problems targeting relevant to this sustainability goals that is 2.7 then 2.8 steps taken for enhancing industry institute partnership which is 15 here you have to provide details of partial delivery of courses by uh, industry personals, then industry supported labs, then industry offered short term programs or trainings, etc. So, uh, with respect to these, what are the steps taken for enhancing industry institute partnership, which carries 15 weightage? So, uh, these are all the uh, sub criterion of criterion 2, that is outcome based teaching learning, uh, which carries 120 weightage. Yeah, this is the NBA official website. So, www.nbaind.org. So, in this official website, under accreditation documents, you can uh, see uh, our Tier 1 institution undergraduate engineering programs, a new self-assessment report uh, and uh, its pre-qualifiers. Evaluation guidelines not yet released. In our uh, upcoming videos, we will see Criterion 3, that is outcome-based assessment. Stay tuned till that time.